here's how to change your Facebook password on your iPhone. Now, if you're on an iPhone and you maybe forgot or just don't have your Facebook password and you wanted to log into your account, I'm gonna show you a couple different options. One is if you're already logged into the app and another is if you basically just don't have it and you're not logged in, how to change that password. So let's open up Facebook and tap on the menu button at the bottom right. Now let's tap on that gear icon at the top right and hit this see more in account center. Now you can see midway down is password and security. I can tap on that and then just tap on change password and then Facebook. So finally we're here, you can enter in that old password and then enter in new passwords as well. Now this is if you remember what your old password is. So it's easy, you just enter in your old one or if you just tap here, it should just auto fill or auto populate that password if it's saved on your iPhone keychain. Now, if you don't have it, you can just hit this forgot password and it will just allow you to send an email address to your iPhone or send an email to your iPhone basically with that code that you can enter in and then change your password. So again, this is all for instances where you're already logged into the app. Now, if you're not already logged into the app, all you have to do is open up a web browser. I'm using Safari and you can see I go to facebook.com and then I'm just gonna hit forgot password. It's a similar process on this. You're gonna enter in your mobile number, your name or your email address, depending on which one you have and wanna use. And then it'll give you the option to basically just get a code, again, texted to your iPhone or emailed to you. And you just enter in that code and then you can change your password. So keep in mind mobile number or your full name. So I can just enter in my name here and hit search. And there I am at the very top and I can hit to the next and it will give me the ability to send that code again directly to my email address or to my phone number. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.